Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, and this is my show where I talk about the comic books I've read, the Kickstarters I've backed, and where you can find those, where you can back those, all that fun stuff. Um, today is a different episode, special episode. It is my birthday today, uh, November 16th, and um, so I skipped work. I didn't want to clean 23 toilets today, so I stayed home to make this stupid video that you're watching right now and uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about my own comic books and while I'm doing stuff like that uh, I'm going to tell you about other stuff kickstarters all that fun stuff so bear with me on this one this is a little different episode so one thing about my comics I did want to mention is I I do a color version and a black and white version and so they are basically the same inside. Let me see. Show you exact pages here. They are. Wow. I had this ready. Okay. So as you can see, I have the same com comic book in color, and then the same comic book in black and white. Uh, it's just a little thing I did just to make alternate versions. Uh, as you can see, I do two different covers and uh, it is clearly marked one is BW and one is just regular but uh, it's just it's just a thing I do uh, to make if you, if you wanted a cheaper version while you're at the convention um, it's just an alternate version uh, I sell these at two dollars or I, I sell them a little cheaper than the the black and white versions a little cheaper than the color version no big deal um, as you can see here I have a color version. This is my color version of uh, Peter Pan the Vampire 1. And this is my black and white issue. This was the original cover on the color version. And then I just put the BW on there, but it got confusing at cons. And so that's why I did a Kickstarter to uh, for one, because uh, the downloadable version was bad. And so I had to do a new version of that. So I did a Kickstarter relaunch for number one and decided to change the cover so there'd be less confusion at cons between the black and white <clears throat> the black and white and the color one and so that's why you have that here um, and another thing I, I you may notice I wear my own merchandise this is a Rent Narb t-shirt and I do a lot of a lot of stuff like that where uh, as you can see my character right here Peter Pan is wearing the same shirt as me. Um, right here is another good version of that. See? Red Narb Studio shirt. And let's see here. Oh yeah, here's a good one. There he is right there. Peter Pan in the Red Narb shirt. Uh, this was just an idea ever since I started doing my Red Narb Studios logo to have a shirt like this and it's easy to draw on a character and all that fun stuff so all right let me get into the nitty-gritty here of what I'm doing let's set this up and get to work on what I'm gonna do today so I am going to bag and board my comics while I tell you what they are about Does that sound fun okay Let's see, where's my notes? Oh yeah, here we go. Right here. So, let's see what view I've got here. Whoops. So, Kickstarter comics. Let's see here. While I'm talking forward in my comics. Um, so, Peter Pan the Vampire came to me when uh, I was watching Interview with the Vampire. And Claudia, the vampire played by Kirsten Dunst, she was complaining about how she was never going to uh, grow up. Never going to get the chance to be a woman like her and Lewis were uh, looking at in the street. And so I thought, hey, that's Peter Pan's problem. And from there, stories started connecting in my head. And... That's where I am now. As I came up, I decided I wrote out a story 
I actually wrote out a story in high school and I did not have confidence in my own writing then and so I illustrated a Dean Koontz story called Bruno and I, I made a 52 page comic book of Bruno but unfortunately Dean Koontz uh, when I wrote to him only sent me back a uh, fan mail which I've been I still get to this day and I never got permission to do anything with it and so I'm like well I need something I can do something with and so I went back to my own story Peter Pan and I wrote I I started writing and writing and I got more excited about what I was going to draw the more I wrote and so that's where I am today is a uh, I ended up with a story I was satisfied and I'm really really excited to draw it out if I could just draw faster and that's where I am let's see um, here's a Kickstarter you should know about it's ending in a few days this is ending on November 18th that's two days away check out Urban Animal Volume 1 on Kickstarter right now uh, I'm a backer of Urban Animal, and uh, it is a webtoon comic which I haven't read. I, I am just have I struggle with uh, digital comics. Like I either forget to read them unless I see them advertised on Twitter or something. Like people are saying, "Hey, check out my next chapter of this or that." Uh, like say I'm I'm reading Familiar online right now, and. Uh, yeah, whenever I see a tweet that says, hey, check out the new pages I've made of, of this, then I go and check it out. But, yeah, so that's why I don't get on Webtoons. Anyway, this guy's Webtoons are being turned into a book. It's about shapeshifters, and it sounded interesting, so I'm, si I'm thinking, yeah, I'll back that, and I checked it out. So check out Urban Animal Volume 1 on Kickstarter until November 18th. So you have two days to check it out. Please check it out fast. That's one reason I'm making this episode today because it, by the time I uh, do a review of some comics I'm reading, it'll be too late to post that because that Kickstarter will be over. So check out Urban Animal right now, Volume 1 on Kickstarter till November 18th. Hack Slash Omnibus is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, I just did a, a review of the image version of this omnibus and it was an awesome story a lot of fun a lot of horror a lot of jokes really cool stuff and uh, so since I already had the omni omnibus he had a tear on there Tim Seeley had a tear on there for uh, pins and I'm like I'm a big collector of pins so I got all four of them that was cool so I can't wait for that. That ends on November 25th. Check that one out as soon as you can. Ooh, LeFay number four is on Kickstarter right now from Marcel Dupree. And uh, I am really loving the story so far of issues one, one, two, and three. So I backed LeFay four. And in fact, I, I have not read issue three yet. It's in my read pile next. So the next time I make a video, um, I will be talking about LeFay number three and what I read in that. So check out LeFay number four on Kickstarter until November 24th. It's an awesome story, really sexy artwork. And next up is a story, a comic called Encoded. Encoded is a robot future story that takes place in 2055. And every year, once a year, they shut down all machines for uh, kind of like a purge night. And uh, it's to uh, make sure there's no corruption in the system of their AI and their robots. That way they don't end up with a matrix situation, something like that. So it sounds really cool, but it's not the robots they should be afraid of. It's probably the normal people and what they do during this shutdown. So check out Encoded right now. Uh, it's on Kickstarter till November 27th. I'm getting that book and the pin. Ooh, Crossing number five is on Kickstarter right now. Crossing one through four, so good. Uh, Enrique Jang 
is one of the creators on that and uh, she is an awesome person uh, works with Red Stylo Media and The Crossing has great artwork it has an awesome story about uh, an engin engineer conductor he uh, he drives the plane the train and you know trains uh, they can't turn if, if there's a car in the way or a person they can't stop very quick and one day there's a girl on the tracks and the conductor couldn't stop and uh, now her ghost haunts him and so he goes to uh, kind of AA meetings and stuff to talk with other people who are being haunted by their ghosts and that's where the story is so far good stuff um, yeah check out The Crossing number five on Kickstarter till December 9th Operation Eclipse number two is on Kickstarter um, I have not read number one yet, but I'm backing it to the tier where I get one and two as a reward, so I'm excited about that. Right now I, I did not write down the synopsis, so I'm, I can't give you any more information other than that it piqued my interest, so I'm, I'm in on board. Check out uh, Murky Waters on Kickstarter right now. Murky Waters is a 56 page anthology of uh, just your general uh, spooky stories or just kind of thrillers by a really big handful of awesome artists and that is on Kickstarter till December 9th check out Talos of Sparta number one on Kickstarter till November 29th uh, I'm sorry comics to movies Media, uh, they're a group that publishes comics outside of Australia, or out of Australia, I should say, not outside of, because that's the ocean. Out of Australia, comics to movies, uh, they contacted me and said, hey, check out my Kickstarter. And uh, yeah, the, the message, I saw the message at work and forgot about it until this morning, but yeah, I, I jumped on to Kickstarter and checked that one out. And it's about a a soldier and a mythical priestess and there is an army forming and they're coming to Sparta to wipe them out and or something and uh, yeah it's got awesome looking artwork check out Talos of Sparta number one on Kickstarter till November 29th ooh Tart 1 through 12 is on Kickstarter right now till November 27th. Tart is an awesome storyline. A um, lot of good stuff coming out of Tart. Uh, it's about time travel. It's about a hero, heroine that is set in time right. It's got awesome artwork. In fact, every, every uh, time has a different art style to it. One of the art styles too, I remember, it, it was, looked like it was done on canvas, so it looked really cool. And uh, yeah, that's a good one. I'm get my local comic shop it holds that one for me. But you can get it right now on Kickstarter as an early reader. Get it on Kickstarter till November 27th. Check out Tart one through twelve by Kevin Joseph. The Catch one through three is a uh, kind of a a thriller cop chasing kind of story sounds interesting I have not read it yet but it was interesting enough for me to check out on Kickstarter Ooh, what am I doing here so go check out the catch one through three on Kickstarter till November 20th ooh that ends this week check that out soon seriously um, okay well that's the end of that let's see so now I, it, I come to uh, tell me about what uh, Kickstarters you've got going on, Indiegogos, campaigns, whatever you've got going on, even if you've just got a new comic coming out and you're saying, hey dude, I'd like you to check this one out, or if you want to send me a, read, a copy to read, I will do a review and talk about it on the show, whatever you want me to do. Um, if there's a podcast or a movie you want me to check out, hit me up on the Twitters, on the Facebooks, whatever you want to hit me up on, I'm Rent Narb Studios on everything I'm on. I am not on Instagram, so 
there's a long story behind that. Actually, uh, I I'm currently have a uh, Weezer shirt that I drew. It is going under review. Hopefully they approve it, and then I can start selling a Weezer shirt that I drew on Redbubble. So that would be awesome. I can't wait for that. I hope it goes through. Cross your fingers for me. That would be an awesome birthday surprise to get an email from Redbubble saying, Hey, yeah, you can sell your Weezer shirt you drew. So, oh, my heck. Is this one of my old covers? Yes, it is. Hmm. I better save that, set that aside. I might not have a copy myself of that. Okay. Now what am I on? So, some shows that I have watched lately. I'm watch I'm I decided to finally finish Supernatural. I only made it up to season 5, so I am planning on watching Supernatural. I know you some of you out there are probably like, "Oh, dude, that's one of my favorite shows." Or you're you could be like, "Oh, I never saw it." Anyway, I'm watching Supernatural now. A long time ago, I started it with my teenager and then she stayed home sick one day and ended up burning through all of it and passed me, so I just stopped watching it. And uh, and I would meant to get back to it because it's a McG show. McG, I think, if I'm correct, uh, he was one of the creators of Chuck, which was one of my favorite shows, and he made the Charlie's Angels from the 2000s. They were awesome. I liked them. And so, yeah, that's where I'm at on shows. Podcasts. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. So, podcasts here. This is The Geek Show. Uh, let me, oh, no, I lost it. Oh, I'm in this black game. Right? It's going to be at least one really? episode basis. I'm on this I show. had it ready. What the heck? I think it's about a, uh, that's Do you like video games? Yes. Okay, so this is the Geek Show podcast. Uh, they're local to me in Utah. So I'm going to stop talking right now. Let me listen. Okay, let's we have back. <laughs> I was like, how do I even know they're really housewives? But all right, we'll get to that. But right now, just a heads up: if you haven't watched season, what is it, season two, episode two? They're calling it chapter whatever um, of The Mandalorian. We're going to talk about it. So, some spoilers. but it's but it's mostly just about the controversy. For the rest of our coverage of The Mandalorian, go to our Patreon, oh, geekshowaboutdiscovered.com, and uh, you can listen to it there. All right, so, Geek Twitter is freaking out about... Oh, that's not what I was looking for. Shoot. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties here. Wrong ep episode. It was Geek Show, but... Nope, nope, wrong, wrong button. No! Ah, I'm so dumb. Okay. Gosh dang it. Redownload that. I just deleted it off my phone. Uh, sorry guys. Here the is the gaming episode. Stories in there at that point. Yes, a staple of our recommend. Okay, here is the Geek History Lesson podcast. Uh long time ago, back when I used to mow the cemetery actually, uh here in Riverside. I wrote to these guys, they say, write a review, and we will read it on the air. And, yeah, so I think it was like 2016 or 17 that I may have written this review on their iTunes, and now they're reading it on their podcast, Geek History Lesson Superboy episode. So, check this out, this is me writing to Geek History Lesson. One of my favorites, I even bought a pin of theirs off of their Etsy. Yes, a staple of our recommended reading. We've recommended it a couple times. Of course. All right, Ashley, and now we're going to move into the honor roll, which is the last section of our podcast. What's that? It is. It's where if you go to Apple Podcasts, I believe is what it's called now, and you give us a five-star review, we will read whatever you have to say. And if you're an international person and you want to uh, be a part of this as well, take a screenshot of your review and email it to geekhistorylesson at gmail.com. You're helping us in the algorithm. You're helping more geeks enroll in the Mind University, and we love you for it, so we want to shout you out. Yeah, right here joining the honor roll today is Jack519, who says, I think I stumbled across this podcast a year or so ago when they were doing the history of Kate Bishop and interviewed Kelly Thompson, who is one of my favorite writers going today. Since then, I've listened to a dozen of episodes and I'm always entertained and learning something new. I appreciate how hardworking Ashley and Jason are, and it shows up in the quality of the content. If you like comics and pop culture, this is a great bet. Thank you, Jack. Um, next, the next person to join the honor roll is Rent Narb Studio Comics. Rent Narb, I believe, who says, "Hey, I love your show and listen to it on Stitcher. Oh, I like Stitcher, but I have one beef, and that is 
that you have not done your entertaining banner on my oh you have not done your entertaining banter on my favorite character Jamie Madrox and there have been some great multiple man stories and there's almost a TV show but I've lost what is happening on that one keep up the great work Gary Brantner of Rent Narb Studio Comics All right, well Gary uh, I assume we'll eventually get to multiple man I like I like Jamie Madrox I think he's a cool character and he does have some good runs so there you go cool. uh, and lastly Munch Matt who says these two okay now let me see if I got that this one episode. Pastor has it I'm JD, and I'm Peterson, and we're two-thirds of the 3-Bit Gamer Show. Don't worry okay. about the other third. Yeah, seriously, don't ask questions. Just listen to the 3-Bit Gamer Show for games, laughs, and fretters. Oh, look at my face right now. The song right now. I, Rebecca, I have no idea. Find the 3-Bit Gamer Show wherever you listen to your podcast. Sing it. The people who listen to this show, we just gotta say, we love Rebecca so much. <laughs> Colin Firth has been cast. Oh, yes. oh man. Cast we go right now. Luckily, you got it. Huh? I, Rebecca, I have no idea. I just wanted to see if you were going to search for Colin Firth's dick. You uh, guys have... Uh, <laughs> 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 so look at my face right now. Luckily, my dad... Built Where is it? It's a movie. Doing things that... You can see the... Oh, that's all you want to know. Your orders for Commander Collections. Popular. Okay. Um, Colin Firth. Okay. I love Rebecca so much. Colin uh, Firth has been cast. Gosh dang it. Sorry, guys. Uh, That was supposed to be... Uh, letter that I wrote to Geek Show, but technical difficulties, I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. I swear it was at the 27 mark. Yeah. I don't know. That's so weird. Has been cast. Oh, there's a butt. No. <laughs> Film adaptation of a since digital comics platform, Spawny will be fine because he drinks nothing but Mountain Dew. It's going to. Alright. Well, never mind that. Moving on. So, anyway, uh, yeah. What else? So, yeah, I'm, I make my, uh, Peter Pan the Vampire comics, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm struggling right now, uh, because I have a toddler at home, and I, I have so much to do, I have work to do on this, on this house that I live in, and, uh, ah, oh, jeez. Now I'm losing track of my mind here. Well, these are already backed. Looks like I'm done. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm always pushing forward. Hopefully, my next episode that I give you uh, will be me drawing my comic instead of bagging and boarding the comics and all that fun stuff. So bear with me as I do that. Uh, I'm gonna keep up with the reviews and all that fun stuff. Because I, I do want you to know about the comics I'm reading and Kickstarters and stuff because there's a lot of good indie stuff coming out and yeah, you should be knowing about it. Uh, next up on my read pile is Le Fay number 3, which I talked to you about, and uh, Miskatonic High 7. Miskatonic High is one of my favorites, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to be going through that one again. Good stuff. Dang, I wonder what happened to that. Like, you've ripped this, like, ripped... You've ripped this, like, right in half. Out of bounds, and then he started... Okay, so I'm going to end it right there. Uh, thank you for watching Red Narb Studios Comics, and uh, if you do have a comic book you want me to review, please hit me up. Uh, let me know about your Kickstarters, all that fun stuff. And I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my birthday. So, all right. See you guys. Thank you for watching.